then I had another realization. I realized like, I actually don't give a shit about your promotion, Jazzy Jeff. No, what I, what I need is, it's just some sense of fucking peace. That was the video that started it all. A raw confession of a successful finance exec who decided to leave it all behind to go find himself. So I think what I need now is just to feel more like my true self. What, whatever that is. A confession that caught the imagination and the hearts of thousands of people, among whom was... Guys, I've just seen this video and I really wanted to share it with you because it's, it's just incredible, so sincere. So Bobby tracks me down to this remote hillside village in the middle of nowhere. He's standing there in this ridiculous Hawaiian shirt telling me that my resignation post had, like, almost broke the internet. At this stage I had no phone, no connection to the outside world, blissful ignorance. Jumped on the first flight back. Bobby helped me organize the first live meet and greet and over 250 people turned up. It was at that fateful meet and greet that Jemima and Jack met for the first time. He was so sweet. I was actually half expecting him to be completely different in person, you know, and uh, always kind of had a thing for an older man, you know? <laughs> that meeting planted the seed for the Your Better Self movement. So, what are the five principles of your better self? Well, there are five simple rules to follow in order to lead a better life as a better version of yourself. And soon, the work relationship became something else entirely. So if you want life to start going your way, you have to make it happen. You can't just sit down and hope that the love of your life or the job or your heart's desire will just fall at your feet. You have to just, what? Oh. Jen, you're the best things ever happened to me, my best friend. I want to spend the rest of my life being the best possible man I can be for you, if you love me. Yeah. No one could have foreseen it. I mean, we went viral literally overnight. You know, without ever meaning to, we both became the living proof of the Your Better Self method. It was the beginning of a community of people that was going global. As the romance progressed, Your Better Self went from strength to strength. Hey guys, Jack Bright from Your Better Self. My oh, micro challenge to you this again, week is now the, the second the writing step is five step. It's time for you to say I've had enough. I've had enough of just surviving. From this day forward, my life is gonna change. So I'm being dragged, kicked and screaming to see yet another ah! wedding venue. Kicking and screaming, you love it. We're gonna work on the key principles. With me, you'll focus on financial success and mental fortitude. With Jemima, we'll look at day-to-day -day discipline and physical optimization. Online auction to join me and Jemima at our wedding on the 15th is here. You can be in the front row, which is going to be the social and wedding event of the year. And then the unthinkable happened. I can't do it. And we all know what happened next. They haven't met in real life for 10 days, but they've been fighting it out online with teeth and nails. Welcome to a new episode of The Void. And remember, there are no boundaries in The Void. Anything could and will happen in The Void. What's with the American accent? He's rebranding. Are you ready for the meeting of the decade? You watch them fall in love. You watch them fall out of love. Now, you will see them meet for the first time since the wedding that never happened. Thanks. you okay? In the left corner, He's the nearly never husband, the scorned fiancé, the man who strikes fear into the heart of every cuddly bear impersonator out there. He's older, but is he wiser? This fighting Irish is not afraid to fight for love, be Jesus. Give it up, people, for Jack Bright! Now, Jack, word has it you've been having a pretty tough week. Well, yeah, I have to say that... A one, a two, a one, two, three, four! <laughs> it's Bollywood, baby! What the fuck, me? Have you got 
about this? What's this? What's this? Where did you do Don't be told about this. Ah. Why, why? You can see what I told you. I told you something. What are you playing now? The cloud goes crazy! crazy. You, should, you should be working back in St. Louis, that's what you should be. That's a lot of And it was a waitress, thank you very much. Oh, oh no, I think I broke one. Are you okay? Sure, are you okay? Uh, she's okay. She's okay. okay. Oh, it's Jackie boy! Come here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Move, 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 get up, move, 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 move. Okay, Jack, you are full of surprises. But I think the question on all our lips is WTF. I think uh, your guess is as good as mine, uh, Doc. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, if I may, in the true spirit of love and reconciliation, this dance is appropriate for the spirit in which we come here today. I call this dance Raja ki aegi barat. And in my culture, it's when the groom comes to wed the bride, as seen in popular culture oh, in Jesus Christ, Hollywood. kill me now. Mr. Okay. Speaker, okay. you must remember. Oh, fascinating. Just fascinating. I love a bit of Bollywood glamour. And did you see those outfits? Girls. <laughs> but we need to keep those eyeballs interested. So exactly. I'm going to ask you to shut the fuck up so that we can get what? on with the show. And in the right corner. This girl has got the brains, the brawn, and the beauty. She's the heartbreaker with a heart of gold. And, of course, my future ex-wife. Hashtag no filter. That's me. Give it up, people, for Jemima Prince! Strong. Jemima. <laughs> okay, so wow. Wow. So this <laughs> is Jemima's mood group, who gives physical representation to the inner mood that Jemima is feeling moment to moment. OMG. I love it. We feel it's important that genuine feelings are brought to the fore here today instead of any spin. <laughs> Amen, sister. Let's have the two parties take their seats, please, and thank you very much. And I just want to say, Doc, that the mood is good. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, thank you. And that's caught in my philosophy as an entertainer, yeah? Insta handle, at Mr. Joy Bear, with a J, underscore Bear, with a capital B, spelled B-A-R-E. -E. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's all about love, relieving anxiety in the fast-paced world, and... <sighs> yeah, 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 all right, guys, I love an anxiety release, sales speech, all the rest of it tells. Okay, so take your seats, everyone. Thank you. And for all you good people watching online, let's get ready to rumble. Um, excuse me. Oh, yes, my beautiful. Oh, I'd like to say something to Jack before we start. Oh, a preemptive strike. You go right ahead, girl. <laughs> Thanks, Em. Look, Jack, it's been a really difficult time for you, for me, and I finally had some time to just slow down and think. Thanks to the amazing hashtag Help Heal Jemima retreat I was offered at Cliveden House. And I've realised that I need to apologise to you. So Jack, guys, guys, <laughs> this is great. I'm loving it, really I am. But can we just take a time out for just a sec? Thanks. Um, Jack, look, I'm really sorry that I hurt you. I should have spoken to you and I didn't and that was wrong of me. Smart move. Smart girl. Oh, she goes in for the jugular right away. How will our singing Paddy Romeo respond? Paddy Romeo, that's racist, man. Oh! Attack on the referee. That gets you a yellow card to match that outrageous suit, my fine feathered friend. <laughs> Wait, this oh. guy's a clown. What are you doing, right, mate? Right, just take it easy, okay? Look, there's something I'd like to say to Jemima as well. Uh, oh, 
The floor is all yours, Jackie boy. My bad. Look, <clears throat> I just, I just, I just wanted to say that um, I appreciate that I didn't. I, I got carried away with the razzmatazz of the wedding, and I so I, sweet. I appreciate that you would have not realized that, and I didn't see that you were that you were scared, and I, I should have, but I didn't, and. I should have known that you would have been hurt. You would have been one. Oh, hey. You have exceeded your time limit, and you will be. Hey, hey, who's with... this clown for real? What do you mean exceeded your time limit? She was hey, 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 God shine back off. Oh. My show, my show, oh, my rules. Thank you. Nobody gives a shit about, shit about your rules, all right? I just need to talk to Jemima. I fucked up. I need to apologize. Okay, so everyone, just give me two fucking seconds here. I just want to just, just let me get this out, right? I just need to say that. Look, I, I didn't see the signs. And, and I wasn't listening. And I feel this. I feel you and I know that now. And I'm sorry. Wow. Did you write that? Not a word. That's on him. <laughs> hey. I wonder how many of her followers helped heal Jemima when she was going through a difficult time, you know what I mean? The <laughs> fuck did you say? Uh, excuse me, private conversation. I heard what you said, you perv. Oh, steady on there, sweet cheek. Sweet cheek! Yeah. 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 Take it easy. Did you hear what you just said? Oh, come on. Well, well, guys, can we just calm down, please? Why are you standing up for someone who demeans women, eh, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> what? Your friend there just offended two women. I heard him. We all heard him. It was a joke. You're just drenched in that white privilege, oh, aren't you? Oh, oh, stop this. Right, oh, Mike Trek. He's got me mind. I think it's pretty clear now for everyone to see that Jemima has been the victim of yeah. unwarranted, yeah. merciless hate yeah. speech, a deeply yeah. personal and deeply racist mm -hmm. attack oh. by this man. Fascist! And fascist. Thank you, Abel. Yeah. Fascist! And white privilege! Absolutely. fucking lootly Drowning in it! Amen! This poster boy for the oppressive patriarchy is soaked in it, encouraged by the narcissistic little fraud that is Jack Bright! Exactly! Jemima! Jemima, you deserve better. You really do, Hannah. You deserve... Guys, guys, please, can you stop it? You deserve doing? someone like me! Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. Now, are you indeed a misogynistic, woman-hating, white-privileged member of the patriarchy who loves to hate-speak? Uh, listen, doctor, <laughs> did you not just call my man Paddy Romeo or something like that about five minutes ago? What yeah, are you on about? anti paddy man! Yes! Oh my god, he means anti-Irish the tit. Yeah, yeah, that as well! That was just a joke! Mine was just a joke too! I mean, has everyone lost it or what? Yeah. Ah, but was the joke woke, Bobby boy? And what will life guru Better Self or Jack Bright have to say about that? Or will he hold his tongue? And remember, Jackie boy, silence is violence. Yeah. My friend Bobby is not a racist. Thank you. Bobby's not a racist! Bobby's not a racist! Bobby's not a racist! Bobby's not a racist! Cover my feet? Not our show. Shit, what then? Wait. What about pedophile? I'm not. What? Transphobe. Oh. Homophobe. Oh. Nazi. Look, today was was supposed to be about some truth. Okay, today was supposed to be about reconciling our differences. Am I right? You need to apologise. <laughs> For what? To me and my community. To Jemima! Oh, please! I don't need an apology! Yes, you do! Oh, for what? Apologize! No, apologize! Don't apologize! We've had one apology from Jack Bright already today. I don't know if we're gonna get another, but we can try. We apologize! I can bear! All right! Okay, look. Why I said it at the top, today is supposed to be about some love. It's mm. reconciliation. Yeah. Thank you. And in that spirit, I just want to say something on behalf of Bobby. Hello. Mm. 
On behalf of Meyer, yes. I, would, I would just like to take this opportunity to apologize. Oh, oh. Here we go. I would like to take this opportunity to apologize. No, no, no. To absolutely fucking nobody! Yeah, you Ah! Millions of hits! Ah! Millions of hits. Ah!